Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. FC Goa and the final of ISL 2 in style scores 3 1 aggregate goals over Delhi Dynamos in the second leg of semis at Fatorda. Joffrey Rafael Dudu scored for FC Goa in a high adrenaline match. FC Goa vs Delhi Dynamo's semis leg 2 at Fatorda. Crazy and excited fans throng Fatorda Stadium to support Gores. Prudent captures pre-semi-final match fever. Natsuya Kupasar makes it in the 305 eligible productions for 88th Academy Awards. Proud moment for Goan's Oscar ceremony on 28th February. Supreme Court at Jones hearing on SLP of crime branch challenging anticipatory bail of former CM Digambar Kamath in Jaika bribery case. Hearing is fixed on 28th January. Supreme Court's CEC argues both mining funds should exist. Mining companies call it double taxation. Bench at Jones matter related to dual INO funds on 13th January. Now the news in detail. FC Goa have romped into the finals of ISL Season 2. Gore scored 3-1 over Delhi Dynamos in a drama-packed and aggressive fixture. Joffrey and Rafael provided the much-needed goals for FC Goa to bring back Gores into the game in the first half. Dudu scored the crucial and third goal in the second half of the match. ISL 2 final match will be held on 28th December at Fatorda Stadium. FC Goa were all set to overturn the deficit in semi-final leg 2 at Fatorda, so were the fans set with all vigour. The crowd, the fans and the franchisee were ballistic. The overall environment was electrifying before the crucial semi-final between FC Goa and Delhi Dynamos. Prudent aired a special coverage to capture the mood and pre-match excitement of FC Goa fans gathered to support their home team. FC Goa team left for Fatorda Stadium from Panji at 4pm with a hope to seal their berth in finals to be held on 20th December. Difficult guys now, Fatur Damjo Fort, Damjo Stadium, Manga Sogula support Goacha, Wangada Asa, Kai Chanchudna Delhi Jikpato. I mean, definitely finals are not there. There are only 19,000 people. They will be over here. It will be like they will casting, screening. Mm -hmm. And the two positions are not, not more than 50,000 people will cheering Goa. Yeah. Such a big surprise for me. On Sunday, I went for one of the Zatras. Okay. And I saw people in the women in their mid 50s in a Zatra talking about FC Goa. Oh, so that is. I think a complete revolution as far as football is concerned. I think uh, my own feeling is every year this is going to be more and more uh, a better experience. To say. The full credit goes to my team and this is the first time something like this has been tried in Goan television. Hmm. That there are two studios, one studio outside the Fatoda Fortress, one studio in Penjim where me and you are sitting and there are three drones. One is following the team bus, one is encircling the entire Fatoda Stadium and the third one is a backup. <laughs> so that's the third drone is a backup. So such kind of uh, television and such kind of footage generation for such an important event. I think uh, uh, it has never been done on that scale in Goan television before. It's a proud moment. Last year also we were in the semi-finals. Last year also we we are able to come to the expectations of our fans. It is the love of the fans and the support of the fans. Of course, besides our teamwork, Coach Zico. I need to ask Kalus. Kalus, I feel the energy is less. Maybe because you know you want to reserve it for the finals. The energy is inside. From outside, we are going to take it outside. Already Goa has reached the finals here.
Supreme Court has adjourned the hearing on the special leave petition of Goa Crime Branch challenging anticipatory bail granted of CM Digambar Kamath in Chaika bribery case. Matter was fixed for hearing on Tuesday, but the board was discharged before the matter could come up for hearing. Now the hearing is fixed on 20th January. Crime Branch, in its SLP, has sought custodial interrogation of Digambar Kamath, claiming him to be suspected prime accused in Jaika bribery case. The hearing on special leave petition of Goa Crime Branch challenging anticipatory bail granted to former CM Digambar Kamath in Jaika bribery case could not commence on Tuesday before the Supreme Court. The board which was scheduled to hear Crime Branch's plea was discharged before the matter could come up for hearing. Crime Branch pressed for early hearing of its plea. But due to winter vacation, now this matter is fixed for final hearing on 20th January. Crime Branch in its SLP has sought custodial interrogation of Digambar Kamath, claiming him to be suspected prime accused in Zaika bribery case. Crime Branch has filed the charge sheet against other co-accused before the trial court. But the gumber is yet to be charged sheeted. Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. Another proud moment for Goans. Konkuti blockbuster Natsuya Kumpasar makes it into the 305 films eligible for 88th Academy Awards. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences announced the tally on Monday. Nominations for the 88th Academy Awards will be announced on 14 January. The Oscars will be held on Sunday, February 28th at the Dolby Theatre at Hollywood and Highland Centre in Hollywood. Meanwhile, go and pray and wish all the best for Natsuya Kumpasar. No, the shortlist meaning see, they are out of all the films in the world, mm. they shortlist 300 films. Ah. So it's shortlisted in that as a shortlist. From here, they will is the bigger win. Then the nominations and all will happen as a second stage. After that, there's a lot of other this. No? Now the uh, members will vote and then the nominations will happen and then it will get into this is where selected. But uh, this shortlist itself is an achievement because it's very difficult to get into this. Okay. It's purely based on merit. We're the first company film to get this far. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.